Hi guys, so today is the day that I'm supposed to be going to the doctor to have myself weighed and to get more medication and to find out whether I'm going to get um, um, a higher dose of medication or if I'm gonna stay on the same dose and you know, like what direction am I gonna go in with my Fentramin pills. So before I go to the doctor, um, I am going to weigh myself. Now I have two scales that I'm gonna weigh myself on um, and I'm even thinking to go to the, the grocery store to weigh myself because um, these scales, I just wanna show you how crazy they are. Everything gives you a different weight. Now it does look like I have lost weight, but once again, every scale is giving me a different weight and I just want you to see how crazy this is. So I'm just gonna show you. Okay, both of these scales that I have here at home are uh, made by Taylor. This scale is, um, I'm gonna just show you real quick. That's the Taylor scale and it's an analog scale. So I'm doing something in the back. There's, there's this thing in the back that you can adjust it because when I get on, I wanna make sure that it's adjusted. So I'm going to adjust the scale to make sure that it's at zero. Okay, so that looks like it's at zero. And then this one right here, it has um, something. Okay, it, uh, I'm put my foot so I don't break it. But this, you can actually press this button to reset. And, okay. So there, it's set to zero pounds. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on the scale and I'm gonna weigh myself on both scales. So I'm gonna start off with the analog scale. Okay, so my analog scale shows 220. Now I'm going to come over here to my digital scale and I just weighed my phone just to see if it was actually going to, what, 225.4? I was at 224.8 earlier. Okay, this is my weight on the digital scale. This is my weight on the analog scale, 220. And that's after me retrying this, okay. I'm gonna try this once again. Okay, my weight on the, okay. This is crazy. This is why I hate, and I hate a digital scale. Okay, that's what I weighed when I first got up. If you noticed. Okay, this is my weight on the analog scale. Wait, let me put my feet up here on this one. Okay, that has not changed. That's the one thing I like about the analog scale is it's pretty much consistent and it just doesn't change. Whereas this digital scale, I'm gonna do this once again. Seriously, I mean, come on. Okay, so I just wanted you to see the difference between the two. If I get on, get off, get on, get off, I'm gonna get different readings with the digital scale versus the analog. So that kind of really makes me wonder what, um, and let me just make sure. Yeah, it's on zero, okay. So it really makes me wonder which scale should you trust? I think I'm gonna to go to the public scale and weigh myself there. Okay, it is so hot today. It's been hot every day. I mean, if you know anything about Florida, you know that Florida in the summer is hot. Florida in the summer year round to me is hot. I mean, there are moments when it cools down, but that's beside the point. All right, so right now I am on my way to the local grocery store that has a scale because I want to see what that scale says. Now, my doctor's appointment is at 5.15 today. So I do have a little bit of running around that I have to do. 
so I wanted to kind of come on and say what I have to say real quick before I have the whole gang in the car with me distracting me. Um, when I initially decided that I wanted to videotape myself and my weight loss journey, this whole experience, I thought that it was going to motivate me and to some degree it does motivate me. Um, I do like it as documentation for what I'm doing, but I was really feeling down because I was not exercising, okay? So I really don't expect a whole lot of a, of, of weight loss. Um, I, don't, I don't expect to see major weight loss results because the exercise part is just not there. I have been laying around depressed um, I've been depressed about a number of things that's been going on in my life and my clock has been turned completely around because I'm not because of the whole you know um, everything that's happening in society I'm not really going a lot of places other than just to pick up food I'm not visiting people I'm not really doing those kinds of things so I'm pretty much at home doing things at home um, so what I find now is that my clock has turned around. I am up all night. I sleep a little bit in the morning, but I can't sleep during the day. Okay. And my sleep has really just been affected. The, the weight loss medication already kind of keeps me up and I try my best not to take it past three o'clock. Um, so I have been taking it pretty much, you know, like I've been taking one pill at noon. I've been taking one pill at like three o'clock in the afternoon or by maybe four. And then that's pretty much it. Sometimes I may only take one pill. Oh, my mouth is so dry. I cannot stand it. That's another thing, the dryness of the mouth. But as far as exercise is concerned, I think I walked one day. I just don't take that as anything because you really do need to have some high intensity. Intensity, you know, you really gotta work out. When I lost weight on this medication, uh, the first time I was introduced to it, I was working out like a dog and I was working out every day and I dropped weight quickly. Okay, um, so don't expect the, this medication to just make you drop loads of weight right away if you're not exercising. So I'm really not doing the exercise. Um, about the closest I did come to anything strenuous was when I cleaned my garage the other day and I was kind of forced to do that. So as far as exercise is concerned, forget it. it. It just hasn't worked. I thought that I was really gonna knock it out uh, from the last video that I did. I thought that, okay, well, I'm gonna really push it. I'm gonna do it so that I can see some major weight loss and I can come on and say, hey guys, I've lost all this weight and it just didn't happen, you know? And then I started to kind of feel down because I'm like, okay, what am I gonna say? Hey guys, um, I'm lazy. I didn't do anything. I'm depressed, but that's what happened. I, I didn't do anything. Um, as far as other side effects, anything outside of what I talked about, and if this is your first time actually seeing this video, I've done a couple of other videos, so go back and check those videos out um, about the side effects of the weight loss. All of those side effects are still the same. Um, the, the solutions that I had um, to help it, those actually did help. Um, but I do remember one day in particular, I mean, I felt like I wanted to pull my teeth out of my mouth and I wanted to pull my hair off of my head. It was, it was, I don't know, whatever the pills do, they just kind of do something to your brain a little bit, or at least they do for me. They did something to my brain and just kind of, it was, and then there's the gnawing of the teeth. So I have been chewing gum a little bit more than I normally would chew gum because I need something in my mouth to grind on. My, my mouth, I just have to grind my teeth. So um, I'm just a little bit afraid that when I do go to the doctor, um, 
you know, do I just go ahead and say, you know what, leave me on the same dosage, which I need to kick this up. And if they put me on a higher dosage, am I going to be able to handle it? So I don't know, that remains to be seen, we'll find out. But I've just gotten here to Publix. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna weigh myself to see what this scale says. Okay, so I'm in Publix now and I am gonna weigh myself. Okay, this is why I don't like coming to Publix because people are weighing themselves. Now I gotta wait, somebody's already on the scale. And I hate it when people watch my weight. Okay. Okay, so I'm here at the public scale. Let's take a look at that. Let's see where it is. It's almost on the zero. Okay. Let people see that. Where am I at? Looks like 221. Is that where I am? I'm saying 221 on this scale. I just got here to the office building. I didn't think I was gonna make it on time, but I got a couple of minutes to spare before I go in. So I wanted to talk a little bit about dieting and, and how that worked. I think that was the one thing that was on point was my dieting. I, um, it, the medication was able to suppress my appetite, so I wasn't eating a lot. Um, I was eating salads. I was I was eating all the right things for the most part. Now there, you know, I have habits. So um, if I did happen to go to the gas station or a, a convenience store or something, and I did buy something, I might buy like some popcorn um, to eat, or if I did get. Um, like maybe some candy, it might have been like some M&Ms and there was always somebody who took my bag of M&Ms and ate most of them anyway. So I didn't eat an entire bag of M&Ms. I might have like a few out of there and then that would be the end of it for me. So I have not been bad in terms of eating like junk food. If I did have to eat out, I would try to find, you know, something that wasn't too unhealthy to eat or something that was, um, you know, a smaller portion that I could eat. Um, definitely stayed away from fries and stuff like that. So for the most part, I've been pretty good as far as dieting. Now there's one other thing that I did want to share, but um, I didn't get a chance to go back home um, after I left Publix is I wanted, and, and, and right now I'm on an empty stomach, okay? I was going to do um, a protein shake uh, prior to me coming here, but I wasn't able to. So right now um, I'm completely on an empty stomach. I got up about 12 and I've been running ever since. So I had bought this protein. It was a plant-based protein and I'll share this in another video, but the plant-based protein, I've been using that as a substitute for a meal. So that is something that has also been helping to cut my cravings for anything and cut down on my appetite. So that has been something that um, I really um, I really found to be kind of effective in, in this whole uh, routine. So I am going to be going in, in just a second and I'm gonna take you guys in there. Now, I don't know if I can record inside um, I will see or I might keep it on um, but I'm curious to see what my weight is actually going to be on their scale all right so let's see what happens I'm heading into the office building now I want to use a restroom because I wonder how much water weight I will have since I do have to use the bathroom I wonder if I can find a bathroom. I have a feeling that does have something to do with, I mean, it's not gonna be that much weight I'm gonna lose. Okay, this has restrooms this way. And I'm also wondering if they're going to change my medication. Are they going to increase the dosage or not? All right, I think I 
Okay, there's the restroom right there. Please let me be able to get in here. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Okay, so I'm just a few minutes early. They normally have their offices inside of a hospital, but because of everything that's been going on, it's in an office building. Okay, so I'm here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off for just a second because I don't know whether I can tape going inside. Okay, so I just got weighed and here it is. I'm at 227 at this point. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, so right now I'm getting my blood pressure taken. Let's see how it is. And we'll see how it is. In the afternoon, blood pressure will tell you what that is. And I'll show it for the camera. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm at 132.93 and 97 pulse. And 97 is my pulse. Is that good? Very good. Oh, yay. Okay. So you're doing good so there. My blood pressure is good. 132 is the solid guy sauce is good. And your pulse is good. You're still alive. Okay, perfect. And it's good you're doing this. Okay, so I just finished with my appointment. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I guess I did pretty good. 10 pounds in a month is good. And I got my got another um, another couple of bottles of medicine. We didn't go up on the what is it? We didn't go up on the dosage. Let me just head out of here. Okay, so we didn't go up on the dosage. Um, what she said was that if I go up on if I go up on the dosage and it doesn't work then there's nowhere else to go from there so right now the pills are working it's suppressing my appetite I am losing I think I could take this mask off I am losing so they're going to keep me at the same dosage um, so one of the bottles is a 30 milligram the other bottle is a 15 milligram which is fine by me and I also have water pills that I take on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So um, I just really have to just get started and I really have to work, I gotta work out. But anyhow guys, thank you for watching my video. Um, thank you for supporting me. If you haven't subscribed, um, please make sure that you subscribe because I am sharing everything that's going on as far as my weight loss journey is concerned and so many other things um so i will um i guess i'll see you guys in the next video but once again don't forget to hit the subscribe button notification bell and if you liked my video give me a thumbs up and definitely leave a few comments let me know what you think um any questions you might have and i'll see you in the next video all right bye